Hello everyone. In this video, I will talk about how we can create an image from text. And here we are using DALI, which is a trained neural network from OpenAI and has an ability to generate images from text. So let's quickly have a look at it. The very first thing we need is we need to go ahead and install the required package. So in this case, we need to install OpenAI. You can say pip install OpenAI. And here we will see uh, two different ways to perform this. So first way we will see how we can generate image and save it to our disk. And in second one, we will see how we can open that generated image on the browser. Okay, so the package is already installed. Next thing we need to do is we need to go ahead and import all the required modules here. So from base64, import base64 decode. And another one I'm going to import is the browser so that we can display the same image on web browser. And the last one is import open AI. Okay, so once these three are done, we will go ahead and create our own function and we'll name it generate image and save. So and it's gonna take two parameters. First one is the prompt. So prompt is nothing but the user provided string and how many image count do you want to generate? So that's the image count here. Okay, next thing we need to get all the images in a collection. So I'm creating a list and then we can create the response object by calling openAI.image.create. So openAI dot image dot create so it's gonna take a few parameters like the first one here is prompt and this prompt we will take it from our parameter next is the image count so let me define it here and equal to image count next parameter it takes us the size what is the size of your image so let's go by 512 by 512 and the last parameter is what is the response format so I would say response format equal to base 64 JSON so once this is done we are good with this particular response object now next thing we need to do is we need to read the response and save it to a file so let's read the response here uh, using for loop for image in we can say response and data then we will simply go ahead and say uh, images dot append and it will take all the images with base 64 json okay so next thing we need is what is what would be our image prefix because we are generating files on the fly so we have to define some prefix so i am saying img would be the prefix for all the images which are generated out of this program and then we will say index and image in enumerate i will tell you why we are going in this way just give me a moment and we'll say open uh, let's uh, use f so that we can format all these things on the fly and here i would say prefix and let's append underscore index and this is again a variable so we need to put it under the curly braces and then we'll say jpeg because we want our output to be saved in the jpeg format and here wp is like we want to write the file in binary mode so this is wb and let's name it as file and file dot write inside this we will just say image 
okay so what i'm doing here is i'm creating a prefix variable which is holding img because this is the name for all the images which we are saving onto our disk then i'm taking for loop and also taking index as well as the item which we are iterating so index because we want all the output images with the name like image underscore one image underscore two image underscore three so that's the reason i am taking here index and then here we are writing that particular binary stuff into this file and saving it with the name and extension it's jpeg so once this is done we are done with this initial function let's go ahead and make a call to this now in order to make a call we need to defi uh, define what is the key so for that we need to associate our api key with open ai so let's define a variable over here api underscore key and i will tell you in a while from where can we get this particular key so for this let's go to open ai portal which you can uh, do using openai.com uh, go to api and you need to log in if it, you have not already logged in so let me use my, okay so go to playground and click on view code and on the bottom you can see that api key can be found here so click on this particular thing and uh, click on create new key and just copy it so i have already grabbed my key so i'm not going to repeat this stuff here so let me quickly grab my key So here it is and the only thing we need is now we need to make a call to our function so the first parameter is the prompt so what kind of image are you interested in so let's say I'm interested in smoky mountains so and then next parameter is the image count so how many images let's go with one as of now and run it okay so image has no attribute to create let me quickly check it so it should be small c now run it it has run successfully let's go and see where that image so this is the image which was generated and you can see the name is img space uh, underscore zero dot jpeg so this is how we can generate the image now let me quickly show you another way wherein we want to open it on the web browser. So I will grab the same code from here and come up with a new function and we'll say open. So this particular part will remain as it is and we do not want this thing over here. So let's remove it and the image format you uh, response format you need to change it to url because this time we are generating url and here we need to say web browser dot open image dot url so let's make a call to this function and uh, this time i will make account as two give it few seconds and it will come up so you can see that these are the two images which are generated first one is this and the second one is this so whatever number of images you want you just need to you just need to push it over here and this count will tell you that how many images you are generating so make sure to increase or decrease your account based on the numbers you want so i hope you enjoyed this video and make sure to like and subscribe my channel thank you for watching